right. I love how this right. underground thing just knew that there was going to be two students or like two people to block them all off because if you came by yourself you'd be screwed because you'd either be stuck down here as Harry or you'd be stuck where Hermione is by yourself. So I don't know. Oh no and lucky isn't it lucky that Hermione didn't fall down and could do the Draconifer spell and Harry was down here to do the Glacius spell? I think so. Alright, well, Super Mario sledging time. Woohoo! I guess this makes up for the parts that you didn't see because this is pretty much identical. So annoyed that we missed a shield though. I'm going to assume that it was on the slide that you guys didn't get to see because there were different parts you could go down and I kept choosing the one with the pumpkin pasties when maybe I shouldn't have. I don't think there's anything else in here so... It's not like we have any shields to miss, am I right? Bloody bastards. Alright. Uh, we don't even need to keep going around. It was only on the one side. Cool. Mm, okay, there's these things. They're probably not even worth it, but you never know. There might be a wizard card in them. Oh, I think it's a secret. <gasps> yes! I thought they were just going to give me beans or something and I was like, eh. Oh, just cauldron cakes. Not that they're really worth it, but I mean, eh, maybe. They'll be worth it if we go to F&G's shop and they're like, oh, our most rarest card. You need cauldron cakes for this. Yeah, knowing my luck, that'll bloody happen. Let me just get this ship and then we'll go around. Whoa, nearly fell off. Save book and this. Oh, and then I die. <laughs> okay. And give me this and this. Was there something back there? Well, like a card. Well, too late now. I think he's just being a bit overdramatic, to be honest. Oh, I want to go back through there because I felt like there was something shiny. Also, you. Aren't we lucky that this passage led right to this moment right here where Hermione was? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, not you guys, you're so annoying. Hermione, if you don't move out of the way, you will get hit. Oh, more dudes. Oh, as if that didn't hit her though. Like, that one did though? Okay. Not that I care if Hermione gets hurt. I don't know what happens though if she dies. Does that mean that I have to like be reset or would she just revive herself? Does that make sense? I'm not really sure. We're probably not going to find out either though because I don't think that's all going to fall down and we're not going to be able to get back. Cool. Because there's just so many chocolate frogs. That's how we're never going to find out if Hermione can die or not. What do you suppose this is? A challenge. Oh, it reminds me of when we're versing Quirrell ver uh, slash Voldemort. Let me think about this. Uh, now we have to play some mine. Come on, Harry. Get your shit together. See, I don't know why she's like, let me think about this. Because obviously then this one will go. And then you do the small one. I don't know what happens if you accidentally hit this one. I'm guessing you can just hit it back, maybe. Yeah, you can. But not really that difficult because we can just work it out. Harry! <laughs> I know that that's what you did with Quirrell, but you don't need to do it here, mate. Okay, and then we automatically change to Harry. Yay! I guess I'll kill these guys in case they somehow unlock something from killing them all. Also just because they're a pain in the ass and there's some chests and stuff that I want to... Oh my gosh, so many. Not that they're difficult or anything, they're just annoying. And Hermione keeps getting in the way and not helping me. Hermione, we need you to rip to Sembra. I'm guessing it's just the ones on the other side is why the music is still going. Whoa. They all went to Hermione though. Can you pick those ones up for me, doll? No. Okay, then don't worry about it. 
Nothing. Just check in because it's like a massive empty wall. Are those guys not gonna? Maybe they were supp- oh no, here we go. I was gonna say maybe they were supposed to when the other dudes were alive, but then because we took so long to get on this side, they decided not to, but no. I thought I could hear more dudes, nope. Alright, well that's everything in here, I'm pretty sure, so we're gonna keep going. The fact that these stairs don't line up perfectly really pisses me off. <laughs> Come on, Hermione, too slow. We're now in the Shrieking Shark. Where's the dog? It's not a dog. <laughs> Every time they transform, they go to that white. Say he's got clothes on. What is this? I thought you were supposed to be naked, Sirius. There's no need to be afraid. Sirius Black is not what you think. He he's is. my boyfriend. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. <laughs> my gosh. Pettigrew's an animagus. Animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. Right, kill him here and then. Come on, Harry. Peter Pettigrew had not only betrayed James and Lily Potter to Voldemort. We didn't even get to see Snape get expelliarmus onto the bed. Wow, that well, sounded it bad. It was agreed that Pettigrew would be taken back to Hogwarts and turned over to Professor Dumbledore. But there was one more secret to be revealed that night. <laughs> Professor Lupin, what's wrong? <laughs> Leave it to me! Oh, the cool colouring. <laughs> oh my god. Every time. Is Ron dead or Is that why we have to use the time turner because Ron dies? He transformed into a rat. Well done, Harry. Stating the bleeding obvious. Is he all right? He's breathing at least. Damn it. Professor Lupin is a werewolf. Wow, the surprised tone in your voice, Harry. It's great. Go and help Sirius. I'll take care of Ron. Cool, we're about to die from Dementors. Yay! Leave him alone. He's innocent. Oh, great. I've got to remember how to do this shit. And we can't move because they're surrounding us, so I'm not even bothered with my hands on the keyboard. I don't know whether if I let it get to the end of his wand, it's like a stronger spell and it shoots them back further, or... I don't know, but I need to concentrate, because some of these guys are getting kind of close. What the hell is that? Oh my god, are we supposed to die? Because I feel like we're going to. Oh my god. They're so close. I have a feeling that we're supposed to just die. Yep, okay. For a brief moment, Harry thought he saw someone trying to help him. And he thinks it's his dad, even though it clearly looked like him. But no, it couldn't be. What's happened? Is Sirius okay? Where's Ron? Madam Pomfrey says Ron will be all right. He just needs some rest. Unfortunately, Sirius Black is not faring so. No, I don't like your voice, He's Dumbledore. You sound power. like the OG one, which nah, not fan. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But he's innocent. Hermione, for a smart witch, you're pretty dumb. Like, you've got a time turner, love. Use it. 
Ah, it took you long enough. More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. I don't know why Dumbledore had to be so vague. Couldn't he have just said, right, this is what you need to do. These are the people you can save and go. <laughs> That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak. And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. And then the game will probably be over. So. Maybe this is why it's like towards the end of the game. Because assuming that we can't be seen by our other selves. It's probably going to be difficult. I don't know. Let's be honest. So the rest of the game has been pretty f***ing easy. So. They've got Buckbeak in there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? No, I accidentally went back 400 years, so now we've got to wait. <laughs> Anything behind us? Nope. All right, well, I guess we're going to get some stuff. Look, there's <sighs> she's supposed to be quiet in case they run into there themselves. And she's Mark. just yelling at the top of her lungs like Margaret from MASH. Are you joking? I'm going to get the save book real quick. Anything? I'm just looking around, Hermione, because, you know. No? Really? Okay. Am I not supposed to get on there with her or what? I don't know. I'm just going to avoid her. Oh, okay. That's what we had to do. Right. Careful now. Right. Careful now. Well, there's got to be a way yeah, you could just jump on the top of that door because the whole thing didn't close, but I don't know. Oh, and once again, Draconifus with Hermione. That's nothing to... Okay. Oh, there's a thing there. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> Dickhead. Can you actually, Dragon? Thanks. I didn't even notice that that fire thing was there before. Like, okay. <laughs> I want to just get the pumpkin past. He's not really concerned about the beans at this stage. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to get them, but I know there's all those other beans on the little platformy things, but I, I don't think we need to. You open the door, but it's too high for me to reach. Just jump, Harry, you pussy. So I don't really know what I need to do now. Um, I guess we have to fly through there with this dude. I'm guessing. I don't know. Much rather be the bunny than the um, dragon. But hey, we can't have everything that we want, right? Does that help? Perfect. Hold tight. I'll see what's in there. And I'm gonna take my sweet time, Hermione, because I don't give a shit. All right. Um. Oof. There's nothing out there, so I don't know why we're. Okay. Well, that's something. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It just looked suspicious. Oh my gosh. And the door closed. They're all real close together. Ow. Sorry. Um, they're all really close together though, except this one dude. So. Oh, you are kidding me. I was trying to get them all at the one time, but they move. They're not stupid. Imps are pretty clever little things. I thought that one was going to blow up in my hand, but didn't. All right, come on. Yes, got them at the same time. All right, anything else in here? This. I mean, we don't actually need the beans, but I do quite like to get the cauldron cakes. Now, I don't think we're going to have a chance to go back to Fred and George. Actually, we might. Because surely at the end of the last game, we were able to just roam free. So not that there'll be any point getting them. Okay, and then I'll save. So many save books, though. They're so generous. It's great. I love that all of these are just placed directly where we need them. <laughs> they really designed this school well, didn't they? And that definitely would have broken our ankles. <laughs> not Harry's, though. No, we're not, Hermione. Dickhead. Like, you really thought we were both stuck? Yeah, you're supposed to be clever. 
pixies. Ooh, and a wizard card. I probably wouldn't have got that. Because I was starting to think the cauldrons were just full of beans and we don't really need them, but hey. Okay. Oh, yes! What did I say, bitches? Collect all this stuff, though, in case we can't come back or whatever. I don't think that's anything. Yeah, little bunny town, bitches. I forgot the shit controls, though. <laughs> oh, well. Let's just look behind us, make sure there's nothing. And it fit through. Thanks. All right. Can we get on top of the boxes? There might be something up there. No? I don't think so. So we'll just dig this. We'll just do as we're told. Because <laughs> at this point in the game, I think we're nearly done. So unless this section is going to take like three hours. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to get this first in case, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Okay, the door doesn't even open. I thought it was just going to open that, but no. Because Hermione's not going to use that, is she? She's going to be too dumb. Oh no, okay, she's not. <laughs> Stop yelling, Hermione. You're supposed to be secretive. Holy shit. Have you ever played Metal Gear Solid before? You don't just yell. Yes, give me all the things. Alright. Are we going to get Buckbeak or... <laughs> Come on. It's like night time all of a sudden as well. Oh, don't tell me we have to fly. No way. I really hope we don't. Because Buckbeak is hard to fly, y'all. Okay, no, we didn't have to. Good. Be careful, Harry. Be careful. Still using the power of the time turner, Harry hurried towards the lake. He had to learn who had cast the Patronus spell that had saved him from the Dementors. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. Got to be stronger than that, Harry. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be playing, holy... <laughs> Soz! It was just Snapchatting and stuff. So, do you now know why I never know what's going on in this game? Because when there's cutscenes telling me what to do, I'm always on my phone. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So, we're we now playing as, like, original Harry? I think so. I don't really know why it cut back to us, though, because we haven't completed it, I don't think. Oh no, we have, because we saved Buckbeak and Sirius, I'm assuming. Probably gonna die though, because... Actually, nah, these guys are pretty shit, let's be honest. Don't know whether this game is easy, or whether we are actually just really good. Probably, just the game's really easy. How much longer do we have to do this shit for? Okay, here we go. Is that it? No. No, but seriously, how much longer? Okay, that one didn't even hit him. That's BS. Maybe we're going to have to die because there's a lot. And hitting them doesn't even really do anything. Like, oh my god. So freaking close. Okay, I think we've got them all. No, not you. For some reason, you just won't stay back. Oh my god. Expect 
Oh, thank God. I thought we were going to die for sure. Ooh, power of the stag. Why was it so large? What the fuck? Harry, I can't believe it. You conjured up a Patronus that drove away all those Dementors. That's very, very advanced magic. I knew I could do it this time because I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry. We've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right. Let's go. Better go. They'll be here I thought we'd already moment. done this part, but obviously we didn't. Quick, go. How can I ever thank? Go! <laughs> His mouth. We'll see each other again. You are truly your father's son, Harry. That was the most stupid saying I've ever heard. Like, no, I actually thought I was somebody else's son. And you're also supposed to say that you have your mother's eyes, okay? Like, get it right? Jeez. And they can actually say it in this because he has green eyes. News of Sirius Black's escape spread throughout the school like wildfire. No one seemed to know how he had managed it. Harry, Ron, and Hermione kept what they knew to themselves. Besides, it was the day of their final exams. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure we finished the game. <laughs> well prepared. I don't know how you're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching but Literally me, though. You can pass an exam without studying. Has been done before. Thank I you. I time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your car parent tracked of exam is first. We'd better head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Should we take the oh no, do we have to do an exam for all of them? Because that's actually going to take a long time. So, can we go down here? Because I don't think we've ever actually been down here. Ah. Well, we've got this. So, we need to do some little explorings. I kind of want to go to... Why doesn't it work? Holy shit. I really want to go to Fred and George's shop. Was that it? Because what the hell... I guess we'll go. I don't think we can. Oh, we can use this. Okay. Um, I think this is where Fred and George's shop is. Maybe. I don't really know, actually. No, it's not. This is where you can replay challenges, and that's not what we want to do. So, not going to save because we don't really need to. Um. Okay. Literally took us just there. <laughs> You're kidding me. I want to know where Fred and George's shop is. I think he's selling cards. Are you going to be Scottish too? Oh, it's the same dude. Hey, you three. Looking for any collector stuff? Looking for any poo? <laughs> Let's buy it. Yeah, we have so see many pumpkin pasties, it doesn't even matter. I'll see you later. Oh, it's so noisy out here all the time. Um, I don't think it's here. Oh, that's how you can skip floors. Okay, I thought it was only just one big staircase. But, um... St 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 staircase. This isn't actually where I wanted to go because I didn't realize this is where we needed to go. I'm looking for Fred and George's shop. Don't know where it is. Actually, it could be on the top floor because that's Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, right? Bye. Nice knowing you. Cool. So we get to do 
Ready to start like your challenges again, well, actually, I guess. Right then, here we go. 